Welcome to TV and Film Beat. I'm your guide to everything screenworthy, and today's episode is lined up with electrifying news, Game of Thrones dragons, James Bond news, and more. With your favorite mug filled to the brim with coffee or tea, sit back and dive into today's commentary on the latest and greatest from the bustling world of entertainment. I'm your hostess with the mostest, and here's what's making a buzz in Tinseltown. First up, a bolt from the past as we witness Allison Seeley Smith thunder back into the role of Storm in X-Men 97, debuting on Disney+. Plus. If you thought her work 30 years ago in X-Men the Animated Series was nothing short of iconic, her return will leave you charged up. With a striking entrance in the first two episodes, Seeley Smith's Storm didn't just bring the nostalgia. She conjured up a storm of emotions. Beyond her signature theatrical one-liners, this comeback digs deep into the strength and vulnerability of Marvel's Omega-level mutant, the Mistress of the Elements. Seeley Smith's portrayal? As magnetic as ever, proving that live action just can't hold a candle to the right kind of animation when it comes to our weather-wielding heroine. And for those wondering, Seeley Smith views Storm's power and her responsibility through a fascinating lens. As a black woman wielding control in order to avoid the angry black woman trope. An allegory the original show embraced wonderfully. Believe me when I say her performance, it's simply elemental. Flying from storms to dragons, HBO's House of the Dragon is teasing its second season with dueling trailers. Strap in folks because the Targaryen Civil War is no tea party. Showrunner Ryan Condal broke down secrets from the trailers, and oh boy, do we have revelations. We've got fresh faces like Cregan Stark. And let's not forget the looming promise of the most storied castle in Westeros Harrenhal, which will be playing a major part in coming seasons. This Greek tragedy is about to get real. With each side of the Black and Green Councils laying claim to the Iron Throne, all-out chaos is inevitable. The series returns June 16th, And after that somber season one ending, expect dragon fire and power plays to shape a war that will shake Westeros to its core. Time for a reality check, Euphoria fans. Season three's filming is on hold as creator Sam Levinson hammers out the scripts, allowing the cast to pursue other projects in the meantime. HBO assures us a phenomenal season is in the works, aiming for a 2025 release. Sam Levinson's hinting at a film noir vibe, with Zendaya's character navigating a corrupt world as a recovering addict. Tight-lipped Coleman Domingo gave us a little nudge about season three, hinting at exploring deeper existential questions of who we are right now. Keep those anticipation levels high. This train hasn't left the station just yet. Time to talk big money at the international box office. Kung Fu Panda 4 is kicking tail, raking in over $268 million globally. And guess what? China's loving it, contributing a fierce $25.7 million to the tally. Meanwhile, Dune Part 2 is sweeping through with a $341 million international wave. Could it surf its way to the $650 million mark? That's yet to be seen. And for those who came for a ghostly reunion, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is making its mark with a $61.6 million global box office. The specters and ghouls are cashing in, folks. And finally, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Aaron Taylor Johnson rumored to be the next 007. Former Bond George Lazenby of On Her Majesty's Secret Service fame gives his stamp of approval noting Taylor Johnson's capacity for stunts and charm. While not official, the idea of Taylor Johnson donning the tux has us shaken and stirred with excitement. Who will be the next Bond? The mystery continues. Alas, this episode of TV and Film Beat must draw to a close. Remember, whether it's dragons taking flight, teenage angst, or secret agents, stories on screen have the power to transport us to worlds unimagined. Don't forget to subscribe for your regular dose of entertainment news. And until next time, keep watching, keep speculating, 
and keep loving the world of TV and film. This is your host signing off. This has been an exciting segment from the Pondering Nerdcast. Make sure to subscribe and follow us so you never miss an episode. We've got all sorts of fascinating topics to explore and share with you, and we can't wait to bring you along on the adventure. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.